So we are at one of the newest communities right here in the North Houston suburbs. We are in Conroe and we're just a few minutes away from the woodlands. I'm gonna show you a few houses um, at different price points. So we're standing in a Shea home right now, which is a 70 foot lot. Um, let me turn around and show you, you gotta see this living room real quick here. Check this place out if I can get my camera to work for me. But I mean, look at this living room right here. This place is just beautiful. You got these high vaulted ceilings with those wood beams up there. I'm gonna show you everything in this home in a minute. Let's get back over here. Um, but first, let's walk outside right now. Um, I'm gonna show you some other houses over here. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna not only check out this house, this one's gonna be last. It's one of the biggest ones at the highest price point, but you still won't believe what you can get for your money out here. These things, I'm from Southern California. I moved here from South Orange County. A house like this there would literally be, I mean, you got a little courtyard entry into here. You're talking millions, multi-millions for something like this. You are sub a million here. Actually, a good ways under a million for a house just like that one I'm about to show you. Um, but as we come out here, you can see on this side, um, we're in what's called evergreen, by the way. Evergreen is awesome because not only do you have these huge houses right behind me that are gonna be at the higher price points, but just down the street over here, I'm gonna show you as you go around to this side, those over there are starting in the low 300. So that's the point of this video and what I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna walk through three different houses. This one we just came out of being the last one at from the lowest price point, mid price point and then high price point. So I'm gonna show you these three homes. Beautiful, even over there in the 300s, beautiful houses. One of those that we're gonna see, the first one I'm gonna show you is on a 40 foot lot. It's a two story home, great home. Where I live, that would be over a million dollars. It's literally sub 400. I'm gonna show you that one first, but we're also gonna check out information about this neighborhood. So I'm gonna pull up a map. I'm gonna kind of show you exactly where we are in the Houston area. We're gonna talk about things to do. You know, how, as I mentioned, we're super close to the woodlands. You know, how far we are to the airport, downtown, kind of all your destination areas that you'd wanna know. And then we'll zoom in and I'll show you exactly what there is to do around here. Show you the schools that we're zoned to, just everything you need to know about this community, the amenities, what's to come. They're in the first phase. So the amenities are actually being built out right now. The pool is gonna be ready this summer. So a lot, a lot to cover in this video. And then at the end of it, I'm actually gonna pull up a mortgage calculator and I'm gonna show you here let me turn around so you can see these other smaller homes if you will um, these things are massive too by the way but I'm gonna show you exactly what a mortgage might look like on one of these homes that I'm gonna show you here today I'm fumbling all over my words today I think I'm getting nervous about this car hitting me as it drives by but let's go ahead go into this first house it's actually gonna be this white one back here the Shea home on the 40 foot lot we'll go over there right now all right, so here we are in front of this first home. Again, this is a Shea home, a beautiful exterior. We're getting a lot of requests for this white brick exterior instead of the red brick that you see a lot. But a little bit about this model home, it can be built a couple different ways, but basically you're looking at 25 to 2,600 square feet, two stories, a study, an optional fifth bedroom, plus a game room. This thing's got two and a half to four baths and a two car garage also. So coming in through this front door, you can see you walk in, you have this nice high ceiling entry. Just to the right there, you're gonna have a bedroom and then your laundry and garage entry. And then coming over this way, you have the huge dining, living, and kitchen area, which I'll show you in a second, but kind of want to look back towards this entryway and show you what there is coming in over here. So right here to the right, um, where you see that Shea Homes in the back, that's actually going to be the garage. So this would be your garage entry, laundry room, mud room right there. And then you have a bedroom up here towards the front of the home. So this one, a lot of times we see people use this as an office since it's kind of tucked away towards the front of the house. Um, but you can see plenty of space. There is a little office nook in there and then you have a full bathroom right off of that bedroom as well. So, you know, if you have a younger or older kid, they kind of have their own privacy, their own bathroom and bedroom right here in the front of the home. And then you have the primary in the back of the home still. So really, really great setup here. You can see the laundry, mud room, everything right there coming in off the garage to the left. And then you come around and this is where it really opens up. You got this beautiful kitchen nice big oversized island you can see a few bar, bar stools fit right there opens up into this 
dining room and living room area there and the vaulted ceilings are amazing i get that request a lot so at this price point to have those vaulted ceilings over there in that living room um, is actually really really good but coming back this way you can see a ton of cabinets um countertop space nice big five burner gas cooktop right there a um, little walk-in pantry here as well a very thoughtful layout in this kitchen so if you're entertaining you know you got people over you're cooking you're doing whatever you know everything's open you can kind of see through out to that backyard as well again you got the sink right here in this oversized island pendant lights really really beautiful kitchen area and then we'll get over here and show you this dining room and then into the living room and what's super cool about this living room too, not only you have those high ceilings with those windows up there, nice light fixture, but as we walk around to this other side, you can see when we look back towards the kitchen, you can actually see up into the game room up there on the second floor. So if you have people again, hanging out up there, you know, they can look down, watch the game on TV right there, whatever it is, um, you know, or your kids are up there playing, you can still keep an eye on them. A really really good layout in this home and then we'll come back this way back through this kitchen one more time and then we're gonna go upstairs and I'll show you that game room and the other bedrooms up there and then we'll come back down and check out the primary so coming right upstairs you can see you kind of have this little um, hallway going over here into this game room slash loft in California we called them a loft here they call them game rooms so you know you have this loft slash game room again you can see down into that living area uh, really light and bright with all these windows everywhere um, and then they kind of have it set up as just a little seating area slash theater room which it could be also it could be an office could be whatever you want to use it for it's great here in Texas you know you got a lot of space for whatever you want to use that space for then turning right here you have the second bedroom in this home so again these are all really good size rooms too so you know you can see you have that little bunk bed there plenty of room to walk around or play whatever your kids got to do then over here across the hallway you have a full bathroom there to the left but there's also another bedroom here this will be the third bedroom in the home so again really really good size room here and then this one actually has its own bathroom as well. So we'll walk over here to the other side. You can see that big walk-in closet there on the left-hand side. So you have a full bathroom here too. So coming in there, nice shower tub combo, um, single sink there. And then to the left, you have the walk-in closet for this room. So really, really, again, really thoughtful layout here because you have this bedroom with, with its own private ensuite, private bathroom. You have that other bedroom across the hall, but you still have that full bathroom to the right of that, this bedroom here. So you have three bedrooms up here, a full bathroom for the two that share this. And then the third bedroom up here has its own bathroom. So huge home, huge, huge home. Um, and again, this is at the lowest price point here in this community, but going into this bathroom, the full bathroom upstairs that's shared between those two, you can see you got double sinks there, nice big shower tub combo, and then we'll turn around and go back downstairs and we'll check out this primary suite. You know, so you can kind of walk back through here, through this kitchen and living room area, and then we'll get over here into the primary suite. And again, this thing is huge. So that's about a king, maybe even a California king size bed right there. You can see all that space on each side for those side tables. Plenty of room over here on this other side for a big dresser, a seating area, your TV. Um, just amazing, awesome. The vaulted ceilings, great light fixtures. I shouldn't say vaulted ceilings, but the high ceilings. Those are probably about 10 foot ceilings there. And then coming in, nice double sink area here big stand-up shower um, I like those tiles too. the little accent with the black tiles and then a big soaking tub here and then again you have that window there I'd probably prefer it like frosted or something so people can't see in but still lets in a ton of light and then a big oversized walk-in closet here so kind of coming out of this walk-in closet, one more look. I love doing this view here. You're kind of getting ready in the morning or you're gonna go out at night, on date night, whatever it is. Get ready, you can come out through your primary 
and then out into this living room area you know say it's the morning grab a cup of coffee right here in the kitchen and then make your way out to this back patio which is my favorite thing to do i love just sitting outside and kind of just enjoying this beautiful weather we're having in houston we are in march right now and just to note march april may are beautiful so coming out here nice covered patio and then a huge yard too so that's the thing with these houses out here a lot of people think you know especially being from southern california you know these homes you hardly get any yard any space but out here in this price point which i'm going to tell you in a second you can get a yard a beautiful house a covered patio the whole shebang everything you've ever wanted and dreamed of right here you can see how much far this yard extends on the side of this home and then one last look kind of just looking around all the trees it's beautiful all right so let's go ahead and get back inside of this house and check out this price sheet here they actually have this exact floor plan for sale right now so i'm going to show you this exact home this exact floor plan i should say you know it's not going to be furnished and all this stuff but you know what i mean this exact floor plan how much that's running for and then you'll see where you start on homes like this one that we are in right now so let's get over here into this kitchen and i'll turn you guys around for a second so first one i'm going to show you here as you can see this model home is the 3079 plan so we are over here where that one go 30 39 3079 it's actually this first one here so the model home floor plan they have one for sale right now for 469.990 and then as you can see most of these homes these are actual ready homes that are currently being built or already ready so you got one all the way down to 399 990 um, 439 so from 399 basically to mid 400s for something that's ready to go um, but here is what they are able to build so you have one stories up here um, right here these top three and then you have two stories so you can see their one stories we're starting down here base price at 316 990 you know 320 330 344 then you can get up to the two stories you're at 363, 9, 380, 385, 380, and then that model home that we just walked. You can see start essentially right here at 390, but as I showed you, one completely done um, with upgrades and everything, you're looking right at 470. Okay, so as you can see, even right here, at 470, you're talking about a beautiful two-story home. I mean, the house I lived in in Southern California was a lot smaller than this. I didn't even have a yard. I shared a driveway with three other houses and that thing is like 1.3, 1.4 million right now. So you're talking about saving a million bucks on a home like this, but let's go ahead. The next one we're gonna check out is actually a one-story. So I wanna show you this two-story um, and then we're gonna go to a Perry one-story home next before we get to that big daddy house down the street. But let's go next door just right here and we'll check out this Perry home one story all right but before we jump into this second house I want to show you where we're at so you know exactly where you are in Houston right now so if you look at this map we are right here at this red dot evergreen I pulled up the Shea homes actually this is so new if you search evergreen it doesn't even come up on the map you got to search the specific builder and then you can find it but here you go here's downtown Houston you can see we're a straight shot north of Houston right off the bat the biggest draw to this whole area right here is the fact that you're so close to the woodland so I'll show you in a second exactly how close you are but kind of want to explain the way Houston is set up so you have a good idea you have your loop system here so you have 610 loop right here which is closest to downtown then you have your beltway 8 loop around here and then you have the newest loop which is 99 that goes all the way around it actually goes down here now too and so as you can imagine now that people are able to get around to the first further suburbs, the outskirts, if you will, of town. There's so much new development happening along this higher 99. So you have Katie getting built out, Cypress is all getting built out, Tomball, and then over here, the Woodlands is pretty much all built out, but this South Conroe area, New Caney, Porter, all of this stuff has new development everywhere because of that 99. So that's exactly what's going on up here. And then if we zoom in real quick, I'm gonna kind of show you how close we actually are to the woodlands. And one thing to note too is as we zoom in here, you'll see there's actually Artavia is another new development, which is a more well-known one. It's been kind of being built for the last few years. You have Mavera right here. And then as you come this way, you also have Harper's Preserve 
over here. So, you know, those are some of the more well-known developments. Evergreen is brand new, like I said, but you have a ton of development around here. And then boom, the Woodlands is right down the street, literally. But let's go ahead, get directions to these places, exactly how far it is. So if you wanted to go to, let's say the Woodlands Mall, for example, pull this up, boom, 13 minutes from right here to the Woodlands Mall. So you can be in a home like that one I just showed you at that price point, 13 minutes to the Woodlands, it's crazy. And then as we go through these next homes, you're gonna see what else you can get at higher price points, 13 minutes to the Woodlands, which is awesome. If we zoom back out here a little bit, as you can see, you're also very close to downtown Conroe. So if you wanna go up there, downtown Conroe is kinda like an old Texas town. It's actually pretty cool. It's really coming up. So there's a lot of new like restaurants, breweries, kinda just so you're cool, more like hipster type stuff popping up in downtown Conroe. So if we did directions there, flip that around and we'll just say downtown town Conroe or fast brewing that's actually one of the places that I like to go so 17 minutes up there to downtown Conroe if you wanted to go do something like that brewery right there at fast brewing some of the more big things right a lot of people want to be close to the airport so if we say we're gonna to go to George Bush Airport you're right there you're 30 minutes to the airport so not a bad drive at all and if we kind of zoom out here if you come this other direction so i-45 kind of does get backed up every now and then with people coming in and out of town through spring and the woodlands getting up to conroe this highway over here 59 69 it's actually pretty forgiving so if you're looking to get down here or even get down into downtown 59 is great and this little road that kind of runs diagonal is called 1314 so you can kind of cut straight through that road to get down here to 69 and then since we're talking about it let's see how far we are to downtown houston from evergreen 41 minutes so less than an hour into downtown if you wanted to get down there see as i mentioned you got 45s kind of backed up down here so there's a little bit of traffic but still only 45 minutes away um, you can get over here to 69 if you needed to 45 minutes or you can take this highway here which is the fastest one at 41 minutes right now kind of brings up another point that i actually like about houston especially being from southern california i was raised in la lived in orange county for a while this highway system that i just pointed out with these loops is amazing amazing because there's multiple ways as you can see to get anywhere and they're all pretty quick so it's basically just like a big spider web and no matter where you need to get to around town there's five or six different ways to get there so what i do if i'm going somewhere i pull it up on my phone i kind of see which way is going to be the best way to go or the quickest way to go and then boom i'm off and it's easy really really easy getting around houston Okay, so that was kind of a zoomed out, you know, here's where we are in general destination spots, blah, blah, blah. Let's zoom in a little bit and I want to show you what there is to do around Evergreen. So as I mentioned, this is a fairly new development. Let me click out of here and then we'll zoom in some more so other stuff pops up. So this is at the beginning stages of being developed, this whole area. So even you got Artavia, like I mentioned, Mavera, Evergreen right here. Your nearest shopping, so your nearest store is gonna be over here by, this is Harper's Preserve, which has been built out for a few years now. So you got co your coffee shop, Dutch Bros Coffee, you got HEB. There's a big shopping center here with you know crust pizza. All, all the stuff you would need just on a day-to-day -day basis is right here. So. And that's literally like five minutes down the road from this is evergreen here. So you're just well, probably not even five minutes, but you're down the road to HEB, all the stuff you would need there. And then if you want to do kind of your bigger stuff, so you have Costco right here at this intersection of 45 and 242. You can see you have the hospital here also, so you're not far from there. And then getting down into the woodlands as i showed you was just 13 minutes away that's kind of where you know if you want to go to the woodlands mall you want to go to market street you know the movie all the nice restaurants the waterway everything the woodlands has to offer is just 13 minutes away so super super quick and then you got a bunch of restaurants so if we zoom out a little bit here if you're not familiar with the woodlands most people are i mean this entire area right here on i-45 there's just literally anything you want to do they just put it an in and out right here at the mall there's free birds there's so many restaurants another thing too being from southern california is my wife and i like trader joe's there's a trader joe's right over here i believe it's in this shopping center yeah right here so off woodlands parkway and I call this Cucundale. I'm not really sure how to say that, honestly, but I call it Cucundale. So it's off Woodlands Parkway in Cucundale. There's a Trader Joe's. So my wife and I make a probably about a monthly or every two months we go out there to hit up Trader Joe's. We don't have one where we live in Kingwood, but you know, again, everything you need 13 minutes away right there in the Woodlands, which is the biggest draw to this specific area down here in Evergreen.
So as we're talking about things to do, you know, I mentioned Conroe over here, which is right up here. You got the woodlands right here. One great thing about this area, so this 242 highway is actually being widened. And then you have right here, which is Big Rivers Water Park, which is supposed to be like the biggest water park in Texas when they're done with it. Um, and there's more new development on this side. So, you know, actually we'll click on this real quick and show you some pictures of this place. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I've taken my kids there a couple times. These pictures are low really slowly so that's a little bit blurry but you get the picture it's uh, just a massive water park here super cool place go back this way so you know we had evergreen right here let me get back over there so you can see it on the map right there and then as this 242 gets widened and built out as I already mentioned you're having new construction homes being built but there's also plans for more commercial development as well so you have more shopping centers more grocery stores more restaurants things like that and then you have this water park over here off 69 and 242 which is super close and then there's actually another shopping center down here called the valley ranch town center which the valley ranch town center has another there's hobby lobby if i zoom in more here <laughs> but you know you got hobby lobby you got kroger another grocery store you got home goods target party city all you know academy sports which is basically just like a dick sporting goods all your kind of anchor stores here PetSmart, burlington and then a million restaurants all kind of lining right here where these highways are so I mean, gringos, Mexican food, there's a salt grass in here, Chipotle, Buffalo Wild Wings, Chili's, Dave's Hot Chicken. These over here are more of like your fast food type stuff. So Panda Express, Freddy's, Toasted Yolk, I mean, just Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, anything you want. And what's cool is, as I mentioned before, like if you're getting to downtown or you're getting to the airport, there's this 1314 road, which comes straight down to 99. So you can get around 99 off 1314. Again, Evergreen was just right here. Um, you can get down this way to that shopping center. Center I just talked about. You can get over here to the water park. You can get over here to the woodlands. You can get up here to Conroe. Really, really great location. And not just Evergreen, but Artavia, Harper's Preserve, Movera, everything that's being built right here. It's an awesome location. All right. So that was kind of your location, right? Zoomed out. Here we are in Houston, zoomed in, things to do, all the good stuff. We're going to go ahead and jump into this second house. And then after the second house, I'm going to pull up Evergreen itself. So as I mentioned, it's brand new. So all the amenities are being built. So I'm going to show you what those amenities are going to look like. We're going to talk about the schools that the area is zoned to as well. And then after, then we'll get into that third house. And after the third house, we'll pull up a mortgage calculator and you'll see what a mortgage could potentially look like on a house like these that we're looking at today. So before we get to that second house, if you would do me a favor and hit the like button, wherever it is it's over here, over there, I'm not really sure, but wherever that like button is, hit that button for me. It helps me out a ton. It's amazing what that one simple like does for this video. It helps push it tells me basically it just tells YouTube that this video is good you're getting valuable information out of it and you like it and it'll push it to more people that are just like you that are searching in the Houston area maybe just at the beginning stages of trying to figure this thing out or actually trying to find a home helps them find this information too and then they can get some value out of it and help them make their decision to move or not to move so hit that like button I appreciate it but let's go ahead and check out the second house. Here we are in front of this one story Perry home and Perry be builds beautiful one stories. So if you're, this is what you're looking for, you know you want a single story home, Perry is a great option. A little bit about this house, it's about 2,500 square feet, four bed, three bath, two car garage. The floor plan is amazing. So you come in, you have your office, right here on the left hand side as soon as you come in could be office flex room whatever you want to use it for but really great space having it up here in the front of the home most people do use it as an office as you see as they have it set up there and then coming back out into this entryway again you can see you have 12 foot ceilings throughout this entire home so beautiful grand entry you have that mudroom area right here and then off to the right that's their sales office that would be the garage so you would come in right here through that mudroom into this entryway you have that office to the left you have a bedroom right here towards the front of the home this is your first bedroom so you can see really good size room that's probably about a queen size bed there a couple side tables on either side and then it's also got its own bathroom so kind of a secondary suite beautiful beautiful bathroom here too so nice single sink here big oversized stand-up shower and then a big walk-in closet here off to the left as well so this is just your secondary suite um, and it is amazing private bathroom everything you need so if you have an older kid or you know in-laws whoever living with you 
great that they can have their own privacy there you know another look back at that entryway that was the office on the right hand side that would be the garage there so that would actually be a wall and then your door would be right there at that little mud room entry and then you come through over here and this is where it really opens up into this kitchen dining and living area so very similar setup to that first home this island and kitchen area is a little bit bigger than that first one it's much wider um, so but you can see here five gas burner cooktop you have your pantry right there on the left hand side and then this big oversized island in the middle so you can see ton of storage ton of cabinet space ton of countertop space going over here into this dining room what i love is that they added this um kind of dry bar area right here off of that dining room so just another area for more storage uh, maybe put a coffee bar or something like that right there which is really cool and then going over here you can see the fireplace 12 foot ceilings throughout this whole thing so all those windows looking out there towards the backyard really spacious living room here dining room and then looking back over to that kitchen just awesome, awesome living space down here. Look, you can see all the overhead lighting in that kitchen too, just making it so bright. And then we're gonna come back this way before we get into the primary. And we will look at these other bedrooms right through this hallway and the laundry room. So first bedroom here, I mean, you can see that. I don't think that was a queen size. This bedroom was probably the smallest of all of them, but still plenty of room. You know, you got a big dresser here, a couple side tables, walk-in closet, and then just off to the right is the laundry room. So there, you can see that you have it as their little office space there, but you have washer dryer on the left, room for another refrigerator right there where they have that little mini fridge, full bathroom here to the right. And then you have the next bedroom here again really good size room this one they probably could have easily fit a queen or king size bed with plenty of room for side tables on either side but you know coming back out here again you have that full bathroom so shower tub combo and single sink so this bathroom technically would be shared between these two bedrooms that are right here in this hallway so so far we've seen Three of the bedrooms, you had that first one that had its own ensuite. You had these two with the bathroom right there off the hallway. And then you go over to the fourth bedroom, which is the primary over here in the back of the home. And this is gorgeous. So you're gonna walk in here, you can see, again, super tall ceilings, nice custom light fixtures. They got that accent wall back there behind the bed. That's probably a king size bed as well. And you can see how much space there is in the front of that bed. So looking back there towards that dresser with that big mirror on the wall, you know, you have an extra seating area, two seating areas actually. Really, really good size primary bedroom here. And then this bathroom is amazing. So you can already see you have that standalone tub right there. And then you have two separate vanity areas. So we turn around here, you can see you got one there on the left and then the other one over here on the right hand side. So really great. You don't have to be kind of on top of each other if you each have your own space. And then you got a big oversized stand up shower right there to the right hand side with a little extra seating area. I always joke because I'm like who's sitting down I mean do you just take a break while you're taking a shower because you got tired <laughs> I'm not sure but really really beautiful and then you have two separate closets also so you got a walk-in closet here you can see those nice built-ins in that closet for extra storage and then coming back around on the other side of this tub you have another walk-in closet so plenty of space in this primary and ensuite really really thoughtful layout pretty much would work for anybody. And then coming back around, we'll go back out here through the bedroom, out into that living, dining, kitchen area, and then go check out this backyard. So coming out here, I love this view. You, you, know, you get up in the morning, you walk out, it's just light, bright, just beautiful, beautiful. All these windows, you can looking out to that covered patio on the back. Let's go check that out real quick. And then I'll show you this yard too. So again, even though these are technically your smaller lots, as you can see, you're still getting plenty of yard space, nice big covered patio. This yard runs all along the side of this house on both sides, actually. You know, and then it's just kind of comes back here and, you know, they have a few magnolia trees back here. Your home wouldn't be set up this exact way. But again, looking back at this home, beautiful, beautiful spot. Hey, it's getting warm out here in Houston. Y'all might be sweating a little bit. We are in March, so spring. It's springing, so we got a couple months of nice weather and then it's gonna be miserably hot. So 
If you want to come out and visit Houston, I suggest coming out sooner rather than later. But let's get in. We're going to check out these prices on these carry homes. So let's get through here, go over into this kitchen. They also got a pretty good promo going on right now. And as you'll see on this price list, they're selling these Perry homes pretty quickly. But let's see here, let me flip you around real quick. I'm actually gonna show you this promo first. So you can see right here, and this is what they're offering right now. These promos change all the time, so don't hold me to it if you're watching this months from now. But you can see we're doing a 5.99% interest rate buy down, which is amazing because the going rate right now, we are in March, as I mentioned, and I'm seeing like 7% rates. But here, let's go ahead and check out these prices also. So you can see right here, like I said, they're selling these things pretty quick. They actually just sold these two, but right here, Boom, you can see this one, it's at 474.9. They're actually doing a $15,000 incentive on that one, which takes it basically to down to 460, if you consider that 475, down to 460. This is a 2,500 square foot home, four bed, three bath, two car garage available now. So they're really trying to get that one moved and you're talking about 460,000 for something like this. This one they just sold was at 504. Another one here that's ready to go, 2545 square feet, just basically right at 500,000, 500 and 900, four bed, three bath, two car garage. This will be available in October. But you know, like I said, they're selling these things pretty quickly. So you can see right here, I got the word from the sales rep here. They got two lots that are starting construction, be ready this summer. They also have two additional lots that are ready to build that could be ready this summer also. They're about five, six month time frame on getting these things built. Um, and real quick too, we're gonna cover this right now anyway, but I wanted to show you this pamphlet. So when you come out to visit, you're gonna get pamphlets like this. This is showing a rendering of the pool that's coming into Evergreen. It's called the Arbor. And then like I mentioned, we're gonna talk about schools um, Conroe ISD basically just means independent school district. We're going to talk about that here in a second too. Okay, so as you see a home similar to this one, you're right around the 400 to 500 range. Beautiful homes, great one stories. Perry does an amazing job of maximizing space in these one stories. Not that they're small, like I said, you know, a lot of these are 2,500 to 3,000 square foot homes. So by no means is it a small house, but we're going to go over to the big one now, that one I started in, that Shea home, which is amazing. We're gonna walk through that one and I'm gonna show you the price on it right now. Let's head over there. Okay, so before we get into this massive Shea home on that 70 foot lot, we're gonna talk about Evergreen itself. So we're gonna do kind of a deep dive right now into the amenities that are coming. Everything's being built out right now. The pool's gonna be done this year, actually. This is 2024, so the pool will be ready this summer, which is amazing. Um, we're gonna talk about that. And then we're gonna talk about some of the schools that we're zoned to here. This is in Conroe ISD, so I'm gonna pull those up. Also, show you the schools, and then we'll go ahead and get into this big house so you can check that thing out. It's amazing. But let's pull this up right here. So here we have, this is the Evergreen website. Um, you know, as you can see, one of the best things about this community and what I love about it personally is the nature. That's really their big focus is making sure that this these homes and this development feels like you're part of nature. So there's gonna be walking trails. You can see they kept a bunch of trees throughout the community. So when you drive in, you're actually driving in through kind of like a forest of trees into where the model homes are and they're really keeping that vibe throughout the whole community, which I love because, I, you know, personally, I don't like when they come in and just wipe out the entire forest and then slap up a bunch of houses. Um, so really great that they're doing that here in Evergreen. You know, here's that third house we're gonna go look at in a second. Um, but let's go over here. Um, let's check out the community. Show you this map really quick too. So as you can see here, this is where the model homes were. You have a park right here. This is where that pool is going to be built, which I'm gonna show you. There's gonna be an on-site school in the future as well. Uh, more development, more homes. So you can see right here, this is all future commercial. So as I was mentioning, as this color right here, I guess I should, mention, should say, this is all gonna be future commercial. So as I said, you know, as these developments get built out, you're gonna get more shops, you're gonna get more dining, more entertainment, more things to do in that immediate area. So then you don't have to drive to the Woodlands, you don't have to drive to Harper's Preserve, you're gonna have everything you need right here, just a matter of time. But if you get in early on these things from an investment standpoint, you know, these things values, as we've seen in many other new developments here in the Houston area, the values just keep going up and up once they build out everything else, right? Because more people wanna be here at that point. So there's that little map there, uh, but mainly, let's go back over here. I wanna talk about the amenities. So 
This is a rendering of the pool. Actually, we'll just, should we watch this video? Yeah, we'll watch this video. It's only like a minute long. So here, we'll let this thing play and you kind of get the idea of what they're doing right here at Evergreen. All right, there you go. Pretty much the gist of, or the vibe of what you're, they're trying to do right here at Evergreen. So this is the main amenity center that's gonna be finished this year. So it's called the Arbor. As you see, you have the resort style pool that they're building out. You got this big um, event lawn here. You have the clubhouse. And then back here in this area, you're gonna have a splash pad and a playground back there as well. But you can see this is all like the forest. So when you saw me kind of walking by these houses, you see those backyards of these homes, there's just trees everywhere. It's really, really pretty. Just a little few more pictures of what everything's gonna look like as far as amenities go. One question I get a lot, so I, I'm glad they actually have this on their website, is about HOAs and taxes. So for Evergreen, HOA is 980 annually. So amazing there, especially being from Southern California. Our HOA was like $400 a month. So the HOAs out here are extremely affordable. Then the taxes down here, you're at just under 3.1 here in Evergreen. So. Um, not bad. Usually these new developments, you know, especially when they're having amenities and they're really, really nice developments like this one is. Um, some of them are pushing 3.4. I've seen up to 3.7. Pretty high. So right around 3% is not too bad. And then, you know, you have your homestead exemption on top of that too, which could give you up to 20% off of your assessed value. So we can talk about that when we get to the mortgage calculator a little bit. But schools. Let's talk about the schools for a second. So we have... Conroe ISD, as I mentioned, and I also pulled up the niche.com score so you can see, you know, not just my opinion on the schools, but this is just data that I'm not allowed to steer or say it's bad or good, none of that. I'm just gonna give you this data so you can see for yourself. So this is Conroe ISD, the schools that were zoned to here, your Sand Jack Elementary, Grangerland Intermediate, Moorhead Junior, and Caney Creek High. So when you go over here, and you can look all this up too um, yourself. So niche.com is a great resource to get information about not just schools or certain and certain areas as well too so you literally you can just google conroe isd niche.com and this will pop up so you can see number one best school district in montgomery county a overall grade a academics teachers clubs and activities diversity a plus for college prep a minus administration and then you go down one of the things that i personally look at is the map so it's actually pretty cool because you have all of Conroe ISD within this line here. I um, mean, you can see not many people know this, but this is the Woodlands down here. So the Woodlands is actually part of Conroe ISD. And then Evergreen is right here. So you have Artavia, Mavera, and then you have Evergreen. And like I said, we had San Jack Elementary, B plus rated down there. You have Grangerland Intermediate, B plus. You have Caney Creek High, B minus, and Moorhead Junior High, a B plus rated school. So all highly rated schools right here in this area of Conroe ISD. And then, you know, as you saw when we looked at the overall scores, a very very good school district there. And that's for public schools, obviously, right? And then we go back over here on Evergreen site and you can see that there's private schools as well. So if you wanted your children to go to private school, you have options for John Cooper, Woodlands Christian Academy, Covenant Christian School and Conroe and St. Anthony of Padua Catholic School. So you have multiple options for education right here in Evergreen. Then one last quick thing before we get to this other house, I showed you on the map at the beginning of like all the places you can go, but right here on Evergreen site, if you wanna look at it yourself, they have this cool interactive map. So if you go to the menu and you go to area attractions, you'll see if you scroll down, you have this kind of interactive map. So you have Evergreen right there. You know, you go over, I showed you the Woodlands, Cynthia Woods Pavilion, I showed you all this stuff to do, but this is actually really cool. Um, you can kind of filter it down, hospital stores, whatever you're looking for, and it'll show you exactly where all that stuff is. 
All right, so that was pretty much everything about Evergreen, the amenities to come, the schools, just some hopefully good information for you. But we're gonna go ahead and check out this Big Daddy house now. This thing is amazing. I wish I could buy this house for myself. But before we do that, hit the like button. If you haven't hit it yet and you've made it this far through the video, I hope you're getting some good value out of this thing. Hit the like button, whether it's here or there, wherever it is, smash that button for me. I appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. But let's go ahead, jump over to this last house. You're gonna love this thing. I'll see you over there. So this is what y'all have been waiting for. This is the one of the biggest houses that they have here in Evergreen. You can also see next door, Perry has another 70 foot lot similar to this one. And then right next door on the right, Shea has a 60 foot lot as well. So if you like this home, you wanna be maybe on a lower price point, they have that right next door to this one. A little bit about this model home. So it can be built multiple ways, but it's about 3,300 to 4,200 square feet. Can be one story or two stories. You have the courtyard entrance right here and then on the second floor they has an optional game room media room wet bar and bathroom but amazing home you can see you walk in through this courtyard and then you come over here into the front entrance and what I love about this home is right when you walk in it's just open and bright and airy a lot of homes you're gonna walk into more of a hallway and then you got to get through that hallway into that open area but as soon as you come in it's just massive open you have that dining room there you have the living room which is right behind me and then over here to the left you have your private office space so great having this office and the two doors on this office as well making it a little more private so if you have your kids which my daughter is with me as I film this so you might hear her coughing or something <laughs> in the background but if I had an office I would have closed the doors and she wouldn't have made it in here so <laughs> nice having those doors on that office and then coming down this hallway to the right you have the first bedroom that we're gonna see here so again all of these bedrooms are huge so you have a really really good size bedroom there plenty of room for side tables they had a little putty green over there on the right hand side set up in here and then this actually shares a Jack and Jill bathroom with the other bedroom that's just on the other side of the hallway that you can see there so you have the double sinks there and then just behind me we'll turn around and you have the full shower and tub combo and then as we turn back over here to the left we'll go into the second bedroom that we're going to look at so you have another really really good size bedroom this one actually has a little walk-in closet here so you can see a really nice size walk-in closet and then coming back around we'll take another look at this room so you got a couple big side tables on the left hand side and then looking back you can see where that jack and jill bathroom is and that's where the first bedroom was that we looked at was through that door that's closed on the other side of that bathroom and then coming out here to the right we're getting back into that main hallway from that entryway so kind of just to, for reference you know we came in you had the office over there at the in the center of this hallway you had that first bedroom that I showed you you had that Jack and Jill behind this wall the second bedroom and then over here to the left we're gonna get into the third bedroom and this one actually has its own ensuite as well so again really big room this one's got a walk-in closet there towards the back and its own bathroom so going over here we'll check out this walk-in closet and this one's got that window that looks out to the front of the house so nice big walk-in closet and then as I mentioned you come back this way and before you get out of the room you have its own bathroom here so single sink vanity area nice big stand-up shower and then we'll come back this way into this hallway and make our way down this huge hallway again i'm at the end of the hallway over there as far back as you can see that's actually the primary suite so i'm going to show you that last but we're going to get back over here haven't even shown you this extra dining room space you kind of saw it when we walked in but you got this formal dining space here off of the living area as you can see it's huge that's actually a really big table it's hard to tell from the video but you have that massive table there in the center as you can see plenty of room to walk around on either side of that and then you get over here into this living room you got the vaulted ceilings with those beautiful wood beams nice light fixtures um, those glass sliding doors that open all the way up to that third tier really opens up that space I'm going to show you that too when we get to go looking at the backyard but amazing amazing living room you can see over there into that kitchen just huge island beautiful cabinets I like that they put the cabinets all the way to the top with the glass and the lighting inside at the top and then you come over here and you have another dining area um, I told you my daughter was with me and she's sick <laughs> so she's in here coughing up a lung sorry about that <laughs> but going back over here and so 
beautiful beautiful kitchen a huge huge island you got the sink right there on the island nice backsplash ton of countertop and cabinet space five burner oversized cooktop you have that pop filler there double ovens plus this additional dry bar space with those windows too so i love that they added those windows there i'm just letting in so much light and then your kind of secondary dining area we call them a breakfast nook here and then kind of just looking back from this kitchen if you're entertaining you're cooking you're doing whatever right here looking back over there towards that living room that beautiful fireplace and then you have your covered patio too so just i mean this is probably one of my favorite favorite living room and kitchen areas that i have been in and i do this all the time this one is amazing and we're not even like halfway done with this house we still have this whole side of this first floor so on this side of the house you have the laundry room slash mud room that's actually really big too and then coming down this way you have the half bath downstairs so you had your bedrooms your bathrooms all of that on the other side of the home and then you have this half bath here for if you have guests over they can use that half bath they don't need to go to those other bedrooms that's actually the garage here so this one has a three car tandem garage so if you were to come in from the garage you would enter right here into this space right next to that laundry room opens up over there into the living room and then we're going to go upstairs right now and check out this huge game room so you can see massive game room this one actually has its own attached bathroom up here as well you can see there in the back and then it overlooks the living room too so again just so much thought put into all of these floor plans and then you look out there it actually looks down into that courtyard where you entered into the home so they have this big seating area over here and then overlooks the main living room downstairs and kitchen and then just here off to the right you have that bathroom up here so really really awesome floor plan and it actually has an additional kind of storage back there through that door i wonder i, I didn't ask but i'm sure you probably could add in a shower or something in there too and make it a full bath but that's not it up here we're going to come back and when you come up the stairs if you went to the left actually have a little secluded media room back here so I mean, I'm telling you, this place is massive. I got lost a few times in this house. So you have this big media room. And what's really cool too is you see that closet back there um, actually has a really big storage space. So if you have, you know, you can store all your games back here. If you still use DVDs for whatever reason, you can put your DVD collection back there <laughs> or maybe record players. You know, I have a record player in my house. That actually would be really cool if you make this into a music room, have your records in there. That would actually probably be what I would do with this room. But coming back out, here um again came up the stairs game room to the right media room to the left you also have the bathroom in that game room and then we're going to come back downstairs through this living room one more time back to the other side of the house and if you remember you had the three bedrooms down that hallway the jack and jill bath you have this office here and then going to the right is where the primary suite is so you have these long hallways which make this feel like such a grand home and then this huge huge primary suite so you got all those windows kind of like bay windows there you have that little seating area tucked in there beautiful light fixtures high ceilings and then as we turn around here you'll see how much space there is I mean, you can add an additional seating area there you can do backflips and cartwheels if you want but great primary here and then going into the primary suite so you're going to have your two separate sink areas this beautiful standalone tub i love that tile work that they did around the tub also nice big window letting in some more light and then just behind me you're gonna have the toilet room there plus the big oversized stand-up shower again with a little seat there in case you get tired in the middle of your shower you can just take a little break there and then going into the closet so huge huge oversized closet in here ton of storage and going back out into this bathroom i gotta say i think this is my favorite of the three that i looked at today just you know maybe this video probably doesn't even do it justice but it is a beautiful beautiful house beautiful primary and then we're gonna come back around this way go down this hallway you're getting your steps in in this house by the way you're gonna be getting about ten thousand a day just walking around your house but coming back out we're gonna go check out this backyard and then that'll be it on this one but what i want to do i'm going to open up these big glass sliding doors um so you can see this is kind of something that a lot of bigger homes are doing in texas so you can see it opens up to that third window pane there and i'll back up just so you can see it kind of really just extends this living room area so if you're having a party you have people over you open 
open those up really just extends that living room out to this covered patio um you got the little built-in grill slash kitchen area you can fit a pretty big table out here too if you wanted much bigger than that one that they have there and then again nice size yard and one of the things about evergreen as i mentioned it's all about nature so you're gonna have trees everywhere you're gonna really feel like you're kind of just living in this little forest area and then looking back at this house the beautiful covered patio ton of yard space beautiful home all right I told y'all that one was amazing let's get back in here and let's check out this price sheet again I'm always dumbfounded when I walk houses like this and then see what the price is on these homes this is something that I still don't believe but let's go ahead and get in here I mean this whole living area kitchen this whole thing is just amazing but let's go ahead turn you around real quick all right, so this exact home, this floor plan is right here. This is the 6020C. You can see we're at 3,700 square feet. This one is available right now at 752,990. The only difference is upstairs. This one has the game room, but it doesn't have the media room or bathroom. So everything else downstairs is exactly the same as this home, as far as floor plan goes. And then upstairs, you just have that big game room. They just sold this one with the red dot, 772. Got another one, you can see this one's 45 almost 4600 square feet five bedroom four and a half bath three car garage ready now at 802 990 another one here 3385 square feet four bed three and a half bath that's a one story three car garage move in in april so it'll be ready next month and then real quick too i'll show you kind of what they have available to build so as i said this one's the model plan here you can see it starts right here in the low 600s but you're starting on these 70 foot lots you're starting in the 500s for the one stories and then the two stories you're starting over here in the low 600s so to build something you're going to be right here baseline to build and then as you see on this price sheet you know you're going to be probably around 700 high sixes up to 800 if you want to do it out um, really nice but anywhere from low 600s to around 800 for something like this all right so that home is gorgeous but as promised what we're going to go ahead and jump into now is i'm going to pull up a mortgage calculator kind of show you not just something like this home but all three of these homes that we looked at today and just kind of a rough estimate of what what a mortgage might look like on something like these houses all right i told y'all that house was amazing. I think I got lost like five times in that place trying to shoot that video. It seemed like it was never ending. That place was massive, but let's go ahead. What we're gonna do now is pull up a mortgage calculator. I'm gonna show you a kind of a similar mortgage that it could look like on these homes. Obviously everything depends on credit, interest rate, down payment. There's a lot of factors that go into exactly what your mortgage is going to look like. So these are kind of just rough numbers to give you an idea of a roundabout what it might be. Be. so on this map here you can see right up here is evergreen but what i want to show you too is you know you have artavia down here you have mavera so say you like this general area but you want to be somewhere else there's plenty of homes in all different price points you can see low 300s here 350 339 499 6 700 900 i mean you can be at any price point in these communities and that's what kind of makes these new developments so cool is there's really something for everyone no matter what it is so if you're looking for one of these homes for example and you like the floor plan these builders are also building everywhere around houston so just go ahead and reach out to me and i can find you something wherever you want to be but let's go ahead and zoom in right here so this is evergreen so as you can see it literally just started this is that little model home street where i was on um, you saw at the beginning of the video when i was walking down the street that's where the model homes are uh, we'll go ahead and start right here and this is the first Shea home that we looked at. So this is not the exact home, by the way, but as you'll see in these pictures, pretty similar. So this one is still being built out, but I wanna show you these pictures so you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. So we came in through that front door, opened up into this big like living, dining, kitchen area, had the really tall ceilings like you can see with the big windows up there. Going upstairs, you have that loft area overlooking the living room area, nice little game room. And uh, you know, you had that, the primary suite here. So you had your big tub, stand up shower, double sinks, big walk-in closet back there. Laundry rooms, got this upgraded tile in here, really cute. And then, you know, as we looked already, you had some of the amenities and things to do that are being built out right now. This will be ready this summer of 2024, but let's go ahead 
and get to this calculator. So normally, if you've watched my videos, what I do, I pull up these calculators right here on HAR, and you can do this too. But one thing to look out for, this place is so new, the tax rate isn't up to date. As I showed you before, when we pulled up the HOA and tax information, you're actually at 3% at that tax rate. So this is only calculating 1.74. So when you go on HAR and you try to do this, this is only calculating 655 a month for taxes. So this isn't an accurate number, and there's no way to change it here on HAR. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this price, basically we'll call it 450 and we'll open up this right here, which is just mortgagecalculator.org. You can literally go on here and do this yourself too. So uh, what did we call it? It was 450. Actually, we'll go here. We'll put in 450,000 at 20% down. You know, interest rate, we'll call it 6.75, 30 year mortgage. Property taxes with a homestead exemption, I'm kind of estimating here around 8,600 a year. No PMI, homeowners insurance on new construction we're kind of seeing around 2000 again it depends on who you're going with company homeowners insurance is kind of nuts right now in Houston to be honest so ballpark 2000 seems kind of fair right now and if you calculate that you're looking right over here about 3200 a month on a payment for something like that with 20% down say you want to do 10% down the rest keep the rest of it the same you're right around 3500 a month you know say you're FHA and you're doing three and a half percent down on something like that FHA does have a little bit lower rates right now so we'll call it 6.5 you know calculate that you're at 3600 a month on that home that we looked at first Again, I can't stress it enough. These are kind of just rough numbers. So, you know, once you actually find a home and you get with a lender and they're doing, you know, they're pulling your credit, they're getting interest rates that day and you're locking rates, you're doing all that. They're going to have the exact numbers for you at that point. I'm really just trying to give you an idea of what something would look like, right? So let's go back over here. Again, that was that first Shea home, the two story one that we looked at. Going over here, this is the one story Perry home. So, you know, we're talking 460 at this price point. Um, so it's going to be very similar to the one that we just looked at. Literally, I think it's the same thing, isn't it? Oh uh, no, we had 450. So we'll do 460, three and a half percent down. We'll calculate that. So basically the same thing, 3689 here. I just wanted to show you this house real quick. So as you can see, they kind of have this one virtually staged, but pretty much exactly like that one story Perry home that we walked through. And you know, they have the additional kind of extended the kitchen here with this dry bar area. Same thing in that model home that we just walked through. Nice little covered patio, open concept, fireplace. Really, really for these one stories, Perry does an amazing job of maximizing the space in these one story homes. Um, you know, same thing, you come in here, big tub in the middle, separate sink areas, really, really nice home. And then again, when you go to this calculator, it's only showing that 1.7 still. So that's why I pulled it up over here. So same thing, we did three and a half, you're at 36.89. Say you wanna put 20% down, calculate that. You're at 3,200. You know, say you're similar to me and you're from Southern California and you just sold your house for a ridiculous amount of money and now you're coming out here and you wanna put 50% down on something like this. You know, you're looking at 2,300 a month. You know, say you wanna do 35%, you're right here around 2,700. So, you know, everybody is different. Everyone's situation is different. These numbers are going to be different for everybody, right? So not too bad for a house like these. And then let's go over to the, the Big Daddy house. So this is one, not the exact same house, but very, very similar. This one's priced at $769. That model we walked through, as I told you, has one available, but it doesn't have the game room or it doesn't have the media room and bathroom upstairs. And that one was priced at like $752, I think it was. So this one's priced at $770 essentially. I um, mean, you'll see when you go in here again, it's being built, but you have that same kind of grand entrance when you walk in it opens up to this huge island this huge kitchen area um, you know you got your fireplace back there big sliding doors going out to that backyard um, this one has the extended um, outdoor living area and then going upstairs it also has the media room and that bathroom addition the game room and then three more bedrooms upstairs so this one's kind of a true two-story home if you will and it's priced you know as i showed you right here at 770 so going over here to this mortgage calculator you know let's go 770,000, and we'll start at we'll say 20 percent down calculate that uh something's wrong there i missed a zero i was like that's not 1200 a month <laughs> um, there we go 20 percent down looking at about 4,700 with 20% down. You know, say you're doing 10% down, we'll keep that there at 
5200 and then you know say you're again say you're like me and you sold your place in california and you are you just moving here from new york or wherever you're moving from we're getting a lot of people from california and new york by the way calling me and i know i had a couple houses in california that's the way it is right it's crazy what stuff costs out there but you know say you want to put 50 percent down on something like this and you know and you're looking at about 3300 actually i didn't even calculate taxes in here so you know Another thing too is you're not taxed on what you purchase your home at, you're taxed at the county's assessed value of the home. So nobody knows exactly a straight number that you're gonna get because it varies home by home here in Texas. It's super confusing. I still haven't gotten used to it because being from California, it was all just like cut and dry. This is how much we paid. Here, you know, some people protest their taxes every year, which you should do by the way. If you get your homestead exemption, protest your taxes every year to try to keep that assessed value as low as possible so you're not getting overtaxed right so let's say you know your assessed value on a, on a 770 house we'll call it you know 680,000 71420 you know you're probably at end of the day paying like 18 in taxes that's again a rough number I don't know for sure but just kind of putting it out there so 4100 with 50 percent down that's including taxes if you escrow your taxes a lot of people that I'm working with especially at these price points a lot of people aren't escrowing their taxes they're just paying it separately outside of their mortgage so your choice however you want to do it you can escrow it you cannot escrow it it's up to you so at 50% 4100 with taxes added in there you know if you go down to we'll say 20% down you're at 5500 okay so we covered a ton of ground in this video if you've made it this far thank you I appreciate it hit that like button. If I was able to give you any value in this video and you thought, man, this guy put a lot of work and a lot of effort into this thing, which I did. This is like two days of recording for this video. I'm still not done. I got to edit, got to do a bunch of other stuff, but I appreciate it so much. Hit that like button, helps me out, but it also helps other people out too, because it tells YouTube that this is good information and it pushes it out to more people that are searching for this content. So it actually helps me, helps everybody. So with all that said, reach out to me if you're thinking about moving to the Houston area. All my direct info is right here and that is my line. So you call, I answer, I answer those text messages, I answer the emails. One thing we do is we book a Zoom call. So you'll book a Zoom call with me and basically everything I did, this kind of map tour, showing you all this stuff, the houses, the areas, things to do. You know, obviously since most people aren't actually here in Houston, we can do this specifically for you and what you're looking for and really nail down a certain an area or certain type of home that you want to see once you make your trip out here and it makes that trip so much easier because you already have a good idea of exactly what you're looking for so reach out to me we can schedule a zoom call but other than that as usual i appreciate you god bless you i'll see you on the next one